I'm going to a party night in the desert and I feel like I need to look cute. I'm just feeling it. I feel like I want to look cute and we're, we're going to get ready for it. I am looking a little bit rough. I, this is, this is rough. I just need to get myself together and to have a little glow up moment because I'm looking desert shabby and I'm trying to go like desert chic. Dreading washing my hair right now because I'm going to have to wash it in the sink and the water is so cold because the desert is cold in the morning. Mm. I'm gonna wash my hair. I need one very important supply to wash my hair. My hair wash bowl. Actually, this is my bread bowl, but I use it also for my hair wash bowl. I take my hoodie off because I don't want it soaked. And I need to wash my hair first because I don't have a hair dryer. So I need my hair to dry. I mean, my hair dries pretty quick, but. Okay, this is my shower bag. This is where I keep all of my shower stuff. I also just turned my heater on because it is cold. And this is going to be the coldest water. This is the worst part. I gotta get it over with. I gotta just, I gotta do it. <gasps> I don't want wet hair. Strategy for washing my hair is that I fill this bowl with water and then I dip my head into the sink so that I'm saving as much water as possible because I'm not filling my water again before the party. We're doing it. Uh, oh. oh my God. I'm gonna get a brain freeze. I know it. <gasps> I have verb shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo. We're just gonna do the best job. Best job that we can. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be like the cleanest hair in the entire world. It's gonna be just like good enough. We're going for good enough. I feel like I'm splashing soap. Oh my God, funniest thing ever. Water just dripped down my arm and I was like on Amazon and I saw an ad like came up that was for wrist towels so that it catches the water that like falls out of your arms when you wash your face and I thought it was the funniest stupidest thing that I've ever seen and now I'm like right now like that would be tight I would love that the final rinse yikes it hurts so good I will leave soap on my neck that was not worth it I was cold. I don't put conditioner on my hair, which is the best part about washing my hair in the sink. Well, sometimes I put conditioner on my hair, but I use the K18 hair mask. This stuff is so good. It's a what leave-in molecule repair hair mask, and you do like I do like five pumps of this, and you just leave it in. You don't rinse it out or anything, so it's so good for this because I don't have to put my head back under that faucet. Yeah. I think it says four, but live on the edge. It is so much better than Olaplex. Step one is done. Up here is where I keep all of my beauty, whatever products. So, I'll show you. As you can see, this is my makeup pouch. I have a mirror, some wax strips, my nail polish and stuff under here. I have my eyelash stuff back there, shower stuff, and then I have all my lotions, potions that carry around to the other side and then in here and then in there I have like everyday kind of things like moisturizer tweezers my meds I don't even I don't even know what else is like in there but it's stuff like that so that's where I keep that stuff all right first I'm just gonna do like very minimal skincare my skin I don't really have like a skincare routine I use this toner I don't also know anything about skincare. Um, I don't wash my face. It's gonna sound really hilarious. I do not wash my face. I don't own face wash. Maybe that sounds horrible to you, but I don't know. It works for me. I haven't washed my face for, I don't even know how many years. Like I'll like splash some water on or something, but that's like a guy's skincare routine. <laughs> that's like what they do. And then they use their like three-in-one Old Spice to wash their face and everything else on their body. So this party that I'm going to tonight, it's gonna be so, so fun. I originally was not gonna go. Drunk elephant, I have my little tanning drops. So my friend was like, how can I get you to come? So <laughs> I was like, what can I say that wouldn't necessarily be like the easiest thing to do? Like maybe I won't have to go. Okay, if you bring a keg, I'll come. This bitch got two kegs and now here I am and I'm going. So it's just this really hilarious situation. Like the most epic outcome, like the most hilarious outcome. Two kegs in the middle of the desert. Just, it's gonna be so funny. I feel like I need a drink. Uh, coconut water with espresso and C2 coconut water is the best. And this sounds like kind of gross. These are so, so good. 200 milligrams of caffeine per can. Oh my God, I'm not gonna drink the whole thing. Maybe I will. Um, I guess. I think I'm gonna do my lashes. 
Now, on my first video ever on this channel was the first time I ever put lashes on. That was an adventure. Since then, I would like to think that I've gotten a lot better at doing my eyelashes. And now I have like a couple different kinds of eyelashes that I like. I have a problem not being able to keep them on my face because I get anxiety and I rip them off. It's not good. Now, to do my lashes. I'm just gonna map out my lashes really quick. I just do them like on the spray here. I have like my little graveyard in the corner of lashes that I have peeled off my face within a day of putting them on. I don't know why I do that. It's such like a weird anxious tick. Like it'll come towards the end of the night and I'll just be like, ah, and like rip them off my, like how do I have any eyelashes left? I don't know. I probably don't use that good of glue or something. Eyelashes make you feel so good about yourself. I'm trying to keep it at the base of my lashes. Ow. I still don't think I do like a really good job or anything, but it's like it's a good job for me. Like I feel good about it. So you do one nice eyebrow, one nice eye mascara or something, and then it's like, oh, oh God, help me for the other one. You know? We're gonna be happy with the fact that they're on our face. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a slump. My energy is a little bit low, so I think I need food. So I'm gonna make a really quick lunch. This is like my favorite cold lunch. Cucumbers and baked tofu with tamari, chili oil, and sesame seeds. The question is now, I have a sriracha one and I have half of a teriyaki one. I love buying these little baked ones because I love eating these ones cold. It's like a new kick I'm on. You know, you get into like a new food thing and I just eat that until I'm absolutely sick of it and then totally forget about it. I love it. All the sesame seeds stick to it. If you make this, don't not put the sesame seeds. The sesame seeds make it. This would be really good with rice, but I don't really like rice. Mm. Oh, I feel like a million bucks. It is amazing what food will do for your body. Okay, I remember that when I slightly get into a bad mood. A little tingle that the chili oil leaves in your mouth. I love it, but I like breathe like a dragon. Let's figure out what to put on our face. This is, I don't even know how to say this. This is my face sunscreen. I am obsessed with this. Oh, do I love this. I can't really recommend anything because I don't know anything about anything. So I can say is like, that shit's good. This is my makeup bag. I'm gonna put on a little brightener under my eyes. Um, yeah. My best tool, my finger. This party that I'm going to is not just a small group of friends, like I'm going with friends. It is a few hundred people in the desert. It's a really big party, so I definitely want to be feeling cute for it. I didn't want to go, and I know when I'm there, I'm gonna have such a good time. I, I just like wasn't feeling it, but I'm gonna have such a good time. I know I will when I'm there. It's just one of those things. It's that mood. I'm definitely glad that I'm going. I'm gonna do my bronzer. Not gentle, not graceful. Oh, wait, no, I do have. Hold on. I just have like a little powder. I do have a Laura Mercier setting powder if I wanted to bake it, but I baked before this video. I have the same very old MAC blush. Take it like over my nose. I don't know. I think it looks cute when you're all like a little bit sun kissed looking. Hello. I have the smallest makeup bag and yet somehow everything that I need always, yeah, is exactly at the bottom. I have the Patrick Ta. I'm obsessed with this. This is like the brow laminator. And I don't know if you're supposed to do this first or not, but I do this first. And I just kind of play with it until my heart says you're done. Last night there was a new moon and oh my God, the stars were so beautiful. It was amazing. I just sat outside, sat in my little camp chair and I was just like staring up at the sky. I think I saw three, I think I saw three shooting stars. I wish that I had an iced coffee right now and it sucks that I don't. Straightener. I'm gonna spray this in my hair but not too much, because if I spray too much of this, too much is bad. I don't know what I really want to do to my hair right now. Should I try and do something cute with my hair? <gasps> what if I try and do a braid or something? Should I try and do a braid? What kind of, I'm gonna have to look something up. I am thinking I'm gonna be overly ambitious here. I'm gonna try braids. Two little French braid pigtails. This is probably going to give me a complete panic attack and meltdown, but maybe it won't. We're gonna be ambitious, we're gonna go for it. Don't even know if I can French braid on my own hair. Okay, we'll see how this goes. I feel as though I've messed up on this side already. I feel like I should have more braid up here. Like my braid is not up there. I'm gonna start over. What the fuck did I just do? I lost it, I should've kept the first one. 
I don't know how people do this. Maybe I'll try the other side. Mmm, it's not it. I feel like this took way too much work and it's not cute. Half is done. Is this cute? I don't even know that either. The braid is dead. We will not be braiding. Braid is not happening. Rip braid. I'm just gonna go really crimpy, very wavy, and we're gonna, I have a headache now. I need a break. Sometimes it helps when you turn this on. I also really just prefer having my hair down. I find it so much more comfortable than having my hair up. I tried to try something new. It, ugh, I think it was just too far out of my comfort zone. Maybe one day I will have a very cute braid. Today is not that day. I can't believe the braid didn't actually cause a full-blown mental breakdown. Today must be a pretty decent day because that's the kind of thing where I'd be like, I'm not getting ready, I'm not going to the party. That was definitely too big of a piece to, to pick. This is how it came out. I actually think it came out really cute. I think I definitely got the hang of it more as I was going. I'm gonna put a little dry shampoo just to add a little more texture to it. I feel cuter than when I started, so. I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. All of my clothes are kept up here in packing cubes. I just gotta go through each one and let's see what I can come up with. What am I feeling? This is the finished look. I am ready to go to the party in the desert. I just have a leather top on, my favorite, the super oversized flannel, my favorite necklaces. This necklace is my salty bitch necklace. Loose, ripped jeans on, super comfortable. I'm gonna throw on a pair of chucks, my black chucks. And when I get cold, I'll just throw my black zip up on over all of this, but I don't know, not bad. I have one more thing that I wanna do. So I smell good. This is like a glitter, iconic something spray. And I'm gonna spray it on my chest um, so that my boobs sparkle. I'm ready, I feel good. I feel like we did okay. Um, I feel better than when we started, so I feel ready to go out. I feel ready to have a beer with my friends and hang out in the desert with like a couple hundred people. I feel like I look the part. So, thanks for getting ready with me. The moral of the story is, is that braids are stupid. You don't need them, I don't need them, and I'm incredibly jealous of girls that can braid their own hair.